On Tuesday, Donald Trump returned to Washington from a spectacular photo opportunity with Kim Jong-un in Singapore, where Trump triumphantly negotiated a deal with the rogue nuclear state. According to Trump, Kim has agreed to begin the denuclearization of North Korea, though some critics are still skeptical about the specifics of the arrangement. Meanwhile, the president has shifted his attention to the real national security threat facing the United States, media outlets which he deems fake news. He took to Twitter, his favorite social media platform, to denounce his antagonizers who say the deal he struck isn't worth the paper it was printed on. Trump was referring to news outlets that didn't cover his publicity tour in Singapore so sympathetically, like the New York Times and MSNBC. This morning, the Times published a story whose headline read, North Korea says it won major concessions from Trump in Singapore. Meanwhile, MSNBC's Brian Williams picked up on another article from Trump's least favorite newspaper that reported on the stunned response from South Korea and officials at the Pentagon, who were allegedly unaware that the president planned to announce a suspension of military exercises near North Korea. Ko Sang Hun writes in the New York Times that North Korea state controlled news media said that Mr. Trump had promised to eventually lift sanctions against the North and to end joint military drills with South Korea. It also said the United States had agreed to a phased, step by step denuclearization process for the North, rather than the immediate dismantling of its nuclear capability. In many ways, the author concludes, the deal Trump ultimately brokered with Kim was a rehash of agreements that the two nations had reached in the past but never honored. Meanwhile, Trump insists on Twitter that North Korea is no longer a nuclear threat, saying that North Korea has great potential for the future.